Most of the time, I will recommend to do your effect at the center of the wall. And there is a few reasons behind that. The first one will be to make things not really easy to compute. Um, depending on your operation and what you want to simulate, it requires to uh, deal with some noise, which are based in a 3D space. And if things are at the center of the world, it's going to be uh, faster to compute. So that's the first one. The second one is also to get a viewport, which is not really far. I mean, if you have an object there and another one, which is really far away and you don't really need that. Yeah, just put things at the center of the wall. It's going to be better for everyone and yeah, for yourself as well. Uh, so in my case, I don't really need to get crag uh, really far there. So I'm going to put a transform uh, and I'm going to click on the move century to origin and get rid of the Y axis. Um, so now we get the same animation, but at the center of the world. So let's pretend that we are scattering some points. Yeah, we need to unpack um, our geometry before. I'm going to scatter some points. Uh, relax duration, we don't really care. Um, and we're going to add a pop network and dive inside. Add a pop wind. We're just going to try to create like a, a really fast simulation. Add a gravity and maybe why not a rock plane. So this is what I've got now. Um, let's pretend that it's some points dripping on the geometry and we want now to put it back where it was before. So as a reminder, it was there. Um, we're going to add uh, attribute by transform. Um, oh, it's a transform by attribute. My bad, but still you will find it. <laughs> so what it says, it's uh, you need an X form attribute which you don't have yet. That's why you have to go back to the transform and enable this output attribute. You can play with those three settings because we only have one um, transform. We can put any of them. I'm going to put the pre-multiply, but still um, it's going to be the same if I play with those three. Um, but as you see, we still don't have this X form attribute because we are losing it in the unpack uh, node. So you can either transfer it and keep it for your wall simulation, which we don't really need because it's just an X form. So it's just some information. We can also add an attribute transfer. So we're going to put this here and enable the detail. We get the X form right there. Uh, what we've got, it's a bit annoying. Yeah, we want to have the simulation what it was before. And the thing is that let's say that this crack was there at the beginning. We put it back. I mean, we put it at the center of the world. Uh, so we are doing, let's say, an operation. We are adding some information. But now we want to subtract this information. But right now we are adding the same information to the previous one. So this is why we have this mirror effect and we don't really need that. We're going to switch and put the invert transformation um, toggle. And as you can see now, we have the animation going back where it was and where we want it to be. Uh, yeah, pretty easy. Um, just keep in mind that you have to use the transform by attribute and enable the X form, which is in the transform. And you also get it uh, in the match size uh, node if you want. Uh, there is some restore and stash. So yeah, play with that. And uh, I hope this video was useful for you. Um, I always put my geometry at the center of the wall when I'm doing some effects, uh, depending of what kind of effect it is, uh, because sometimes you will need a wall environment. So yeah, it really depends. But for this kind of things, yeah, put it at the center of the wall. Uh, again, thank you for watching this video. Tell me if you found that useful in the comment section below. Don't forget to leave a like and uh, yeah, I will see you in the next video. Until then, take care of you. See you.